started it like that. So today I'm showing you a 3D printed mount I made that fits the standard GoPro camera mount. I wanted to see if I could make the mount secure enough to hold three different cameras, an Osmo Pocket, the GoPro Hero 7, and an Insta360 ONE X. So I made this mount like pretty strong. You can pretty much attach anything to it and it's really, it's, it's gonna hold up. Each camera has a different weight setup with the Osmo just barely being heavier than the GoPro 7 setup. But the nice thing about this setup is that you can launch and retrieve from the cameras and also you can steer clear of the props. So you don't have a camera up here you're worried about. You know, your, your $400 camera sitting there on top. Uh, instead, it's gonna be sitting here on the bottom under slung. Let's go ahead and put this together. So it needs to be mounted from the bottom of the camera. The reason why is because there's a sensor on the back of the Mavic Mini. It's the downward vision sensor. And what'll happen is whenever you put something in front of the downward vision sensor, it's easier to put on first. So that is secure. It's not going anywhere. Now we attach it and it's super secure. Yeah, so the reason why I had to attach it here instead of here is because if I put it here, this back part of it would hit the downward vision sensor. And if something is in front of the downward vision sensor, it'll cause, when there's a GPS signal, it'll cause the mini to just uncontrollably go up because it thinks something's directly below it and it likes to keep a little bit of room. So if you have anything covering that, it's going to just start flying up in the air. And what you'll have to do is hold down and it'll land. But the problem is when it doesn't see anything below it, it'll land really fast and really hard. The last thing you want this thing to do is to land really fast, really hard. I'm not gonna be making this STL available unless somebody can give me an application in the comments that actually doesn't cause damage to the drone. An application I thought about is actually making like a hand mount so you can hold the mini like that and be able to, some people like to use the mini as like a, a camera as a, with a stabilized gimbal. So I may consider releasing them out like this so that we can create a handle for it like the GoPro's handle and we can just attach it there. Only if you guys want it, let me know in the comments. And also don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and hit the notifications button. We're gonna keep bringing you the Mavic Mini videos. I have a Sky DO2 that's supposed to be here either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, I also have the Autel Evo on order. And if that two, what is it, the V-copter ends up being actually something and not a big piece of junk, I'll order that and let you know what I think about it. Like I said, you should really avoid putting anything on the Mini that weighs more than the prop guards, which is about 50 grams. I tested each camera with a freshly charged battery so I wouldn't be worried about battery levels or temperature. One thing I noticed is that the batteries would heat up very quickly. Even after I removed the load, they would continue to get hot. So swapping them out was the best way to combat that. The least successful tests were the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Osmo Pocket. Both the GoPro and the Osmo Pocket were throwing a max power load warning. And I'm sure that's pretty hard on the motors. I had tried the Osmo Pocket before and the GoPro. And they threw these same warnings with the Osmo actually causing the Mini to nearly crash from not having enough juice as the batteries drained. Also could have been that the motors were overheating and they couldn't keep up. But the most successful test was that with the Insta 361X. He wasn't throwing a max load warning unless a gust of wind hit. 
I had a lot of gust at ground level, which is why most of my video is just a few feet off the ground. The mount also suffers from vibrations since there's no shock mounting to the drone. <laughs> I mean, it's solidly on there, so it would just, it would vibrate. So the Insta360 handled it the best with its flow state digital stabilization, with the GoPro coming in second with its digital stabilization, and the Osmo Pocket showing the most vibrations due to it relying on the gimbal for stabilization. So what's the verdict? Well, the verdict is you shouldn't put anything on the Mini that is heavier than the prop covers. You can do it, and you might get away with it for a while, but over time you're looking at wear and tear on the Mini that you might not be able to see until it's too late. Uh, that's gonna be it for this week's video. I want you guys to tell me if there's maybe another application for this mount. Like I said, it's a super, super strong mount once it's, once it's on there. Um, I am like, if I put just enough pressure on it, it'll start to come loose, but yeah, solid.